Hello everyone. In our previous video, we have seen different classification accuracy metrics. I will also make one more video where we'll talk about you know when to use the, this uh, different uh, accuracy metrics like precision, recall, reference score, right? So in this video, we'll see how to implement those accuracy matrices. For example, now which we already working on, right? So the PMA diabetics data set, right? So in our uh, last video, we have seen you know how to calculate the accuracy. So you know, let's see how we can you know uh, calculate precision recall uh, F1 score using SQLM, right? Uh, that is the package which we are using. We already imported accuracy score. Uh, let me import recall precision precision and F1 score confusion matrix, right? So now. <coughs> We will see confusion matrix. Confusion matrix. It's tied forward. I need to pass my actual y value and predicted y value. It will give you the results, right? So we know, right? So uh, let me copy this image and uh, paste it here. <coughs> yeah. We know, right? The first record usually it will be true positive right and and so on right but actually right so uh, this is not the case this is not the actual case right so if you really want to get in the same order as shown in the image what we have to do is we have to mention the label let me show you that labels equal to one comma zero the first we need to mention the positive and the second we need to mention the negative right which means uh, no diabetic diabetic right this is the uh, the confusion matrix as per the image shown here right so now let me calculate the precision same we need to pass you know our uh, y actual y and predicted y it says 67 percent and uh, we will also calculate the recall it says uh, you know 43 sorry 46 percent right so we know the formula of this you know uh, precision and recall right we can also calculate it right so what is the formula of precision it's true positive divided by true positive plus false positive right so what is the true positive here 38 right so 38 divided by 38 plus what is our false positive 18 right we got 67 and similarly we can also calculate the recall right what is the form of recall this true positive by true positive plus false negative right so which is 38 divided by 38 plus 18 right oh sorry it's not 18 it's 43 this one We got 46 percent, right? So similarly, we also have F1 score, right? In the same fashion, we have to pass our actual y and the predicted y. So we got 55.4 percent accuracy. I mean F1 score. So we 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 also talked about what is F1 score, right? Yeah. So as I said, right? So I'll uh, make sure I'll make one more video, right? In that video, we'll talk about you know when to use precision when to use recall right when to use f1 score right we'll we'll take some small use cases and we'll we'll discuss about that right so hope you enjoyed this video right so in our next video you know upcoming videos we'll talk about uh, right few more algorithms like uh, k nearest neighbor which is called kmn linear discriminant analysis decision trees etc 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 right there are many more which we are going to discuss right so please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.